Hey everybody, in this video, I wanna show you some of the new features in Zoom events. You may know that in a couple weeks, we're gonna have the 2022 Stream Geek Summit. And every year we have been using Zoom events when we're doing our hybrid and virtual kind of in-person and online events. Now, Zoom events has gotten so many new updates. I really wanted to share some of them with you. From start to finish, it seems like a completely new platform, so let's dig in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you guys the inside of my Zoom events platform for the Stream Geek Summit. It's all web-based, so it's so easy to get into, and I wanna show just how easy it is to get started. You can see the whole website and Zoom events platform for the end users, for everyone who's joining the event, it's totally branded. I have uh, given it a name and a description and a category. I've made this entire event free, but if you want to have paid tickets, you can do that as well and actually charge for your event and make money, which I think is awesome. I have set up a time and date for all of this to set up and then a secondary time and date for the event lobby. So the lobby is actually open about a week before. I think it's actually open right now as of when this video is published. Now you can see here we have our logo and like a main image that is part of this Zoom events platform. You can also provide in session webinar branding. So this will actually be the, the default virtual background for all hosts and sponsors, which is pretty cool. You can even have like name tags for people as they come in and brand it. So it's, it's really some cool new stuff. Every area of Zoom events has been updated as you can see here. And you can see here, I've changed all the branding to fit the Stream Geeks colors. You can see the background, the header, the text, the buttons, everything, including the emails that are sent out to attend attendees is all branded. Now your sessions are the actual areas where people can click into inside of this web interface. So you can see here, I've got two featured sessions. One is our main webinar session. So this session is a webinar. It's different from our networking session, which is a meeting. If you're treating this kind of like a live stream where people are you know, joining to watch educational sessions Webinars are generally a lot better because you don't get distracted by seeing everyone's video. You, everyone can just see the hosts and the panelists and you have a lot more control over the experience. On the meeting side, we're using that for our networking rooms because everybody wants to meet each other, everyone wants to see each other and I think you know, it's, it's a really great way to do that. So another thing that is really cool here is the ability to add speakers into your session really quickly. You can put their picture in, their name and their email. But once they're in, you can actually invite speaker to edit their bio. And so they can control their the way that their name is, their pictures, their social media uh, information. And it's, it's really nice. Uh, makes, makes life easier as a event planner. You can see here the ability to add sponsors and customize the tiers. There's a whole new building of an expo set up. Now we're a really small event that's really focused on a few educational presentations and um, some in-person networking and virtual networking. So we're not doing an expo for this, but it is a really cool feature where you can have kind of a virtual expo experience. You can see all the tickets that you can create, multiple different tickets and have different ticket roles. And it's just a, it's just a great experience. Um, and I want to show the front end for this now. So if I go back to my events here, and I join the lobby, this will give you a look at what you know my experience is because I am a speaker and you can see I have the option to go ahead and start a practice. And when I do that, that's going to launch Zoom. So I'm gonna actually get directly into this session and I can practice my webinar. Um, you can see what happens here. It will say live and it has all the speakers here. You have the lobby, which is where you can browse everything in the event. You can have your different sessions, an itinerary, and you can jump in to learn a little bit more about each speaker. Now, another one of the features I really like is the online networking. You can see here that you have the ability to learn a little bit about people who are attending the event. So these are will be a list of attendees who've said, hey, I, I, I'm feeling social. I want people to be able to you know, email me and learn a little bit more about me. So really cool stuff. 
in the new Zoom events platform. So really quickly, I wanna show you guys the new stage. This is where we are going to be hosting the Stream Geek Summit this year. We built a brand new stage and I'm, I'm super stoked about this. This is our desk, we're still, we're still waiting on some furniture and different things. And having a stage really sets the stage for live streaming when you're doing shows. So this is gonna be a really great place for us to do podcasts. It also gives us a space to have our in-person attendees to sit and watch. And then of course we have our broadcast um, studio area that connects to this. So just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek before the Stream Geek Summit to show you what we're up to. So if you are like me and you do live streaming and you do virtual events, you really should check out Zoom events. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, to see more. We're gonna do a kind of a recap of how, what went wrong so you don't have to make the same mistakes that we do and kind of show you know what could have been better, how we could have done things differently at the Stream Geek Summit. If you wanna be there in person and kind of join and network with everybody, I'd highly suggest registering for the Stream Geek Summit in the links below. If you have questions about how we're using Zoom events or how you can use them, let us know in the comments below. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.